The follow me tool needs two things to work, a shape and a path to pull the shape along. The key to being effective is using your imagination as to the path and shape. Look at some of these examples to get some ideas. Now that you have an idea of what the Follow Me is capable of, let's look at the best ways to use the tool. Regardless of the original shape orientation, when you use the Follow Me, it will create geometry in a perpendicular direction to the path. For this reason, it's best to make sure that your shape is created perpendicular to the path. The shape here does not need to be connected to the path, but it will align itself to the path. You can see this here. These two shapes are in very different positions, but using the Follow Me tool with the same path results in both shapes aligning to the path as a starting point. So far, we've been manually guiding the shape along a path for the Follow Me tool. However, the process is usually much easier if you pre-select the path first. Using the Select tool, Pick a series of edges, making sure they're all joined. Now, use the Follow Me tool to pick the shape and it automatically follows that path you had selected. Let's do this a few times to make sure you understand. Pick a path first, several connected edges, then select the Follow Me tool and click on the shape to use Follow Me. Another way to pick the path first is to select a single surface. This surface exists because of the bounding edges, so we can select this one surface to effectively select all the edges. Now, use the Follow Me tool on this shape to have it follow the edges of the surface. Select the surface, then use the Follow Me tool to click on the shape. Here's one more way to work quickly with the Follow Me tool. When you need to follow a surface as we've been doing, you can also use a modifier key to work quickly. Use the Follow Me tool to start pulling a shape. Hold down the Alt key or the Apple key on a Mac and click on the surface you want to follow along. That surface is used for the Follow Me path. Now let's look at using Follow Me to create lathe shapes. Remember the two key ingredients, a shape and a path? Combining different shapes with different paths makes for very powerful and fun combinations. Remember you can pre-select the path or use a modifier key for very quick work. When creating complicated shapes that you're going to lathe, here's a tip. Start by creating a simple rectangle and move it into the correct position. Then draw the details on the rectangle. This makes it easy to draw a coplanar shape. Erase the outer edges and you're ready to use Follow Me.